Hey guys, happy Friday! It's uh, well, it's gonna be a layout update over here, but we're gonna run some trains too. I think I'm gonna run the uh, maintenance away train over here. We're gonna head down over to uh, to Orange, to the new section of the layout, and we're gonna be gluing down some track. So uh, let's get fired up over here. Sounding nice. All right, we'll get the lights on. Let's go ahead and pull on out of here. Start heading in the right direction. And as you can see, we'll get get rid of the bell there. We got our uh, we got our well shoving platform, aka caboose there, and we got a gondola with a bunch of crud in it. I figured we'd run this thing out to uh, where we're going to be uh, working on some track over there. Over in the new section. So uh, I haven't done anything else. I haven't put down any more grass or anything like that. Um, but I, uh, the next step that I want to do, well, is uh, I want to ballast the track over there before I start working on any more grass and stuff like that. And in order to ballast the track, I got to make sure the track is uh at least uh, kind of down on you know on the uh on the foam especially in the roadways and uh in order to do that i got a few sections where you know it's kind of uneven and the track is sort of popping up so i gotta gl kind of glue those sections down you'll see when we get get over there but uh, that's sort of what uh what we're gonna do here today so sort of we'll run a little bit of train action out there and uh, head on out to the new section you can take a look at it and we get to run this lovely uh, SD40-2 I almost said T <laughs> first thing we got to do to, over here is uh, get the locomotive on the right side of the uh, of the train here so we're gonna pull these guys out we'll shove them over onto one of the uh, clear tracks and then uh, run around them really quick so that we can head out on our way here let me put the camera down i think right there is good And I think right there is good. Let's go ahead and disconnect. I guess it doesn't really matter because we got to run around and uh, get on the other side of this uh, section of cars here. And then, uh, and then we'll run all the way through the layout and then out to the new section. And then we can start uh, gluing down some of those uh, little pesky areas, especially right, uh, you will, you'll see, kind of where I made, uh, where I'm, where I'm made, where I'm going to have the uh, track uh, going, you know, where I'm going to have streets is what I'm trying to say. There's a few spots there, especially uh, down towards the end where uh, I think I reused one of the... Uh, a piece of track from, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever. It, it's a reused piece and it's just not very uh, flat and it's kind of popping up a little bit. So the plan is to run out there uh, and uh, glue down just those little sections right where they're going to cross over the streets, get some weight on them and let them dry. And then once that's done, we can come back and uh, slather in our uh, drywall paste that I use for the roadways. And then, once that's done, we can come back and start ballasting all the other track. I'm going to put the camera down here and make sure my turnouts are all set. Yes, they are. I'll change one over here.
So it's kind of slow going over here on the uh, on the layout, but uh, it's actually it's actually gotten nice and cool, which is a good thing over here in Southern California. Meaning it's like you know 80, 77. I can hang out in the garage with Ben and uh, do a little work on the layout, watch a little love boat or whatever. Actually, right now I'm, uh, I'm watching uh, I'm watching a new channel I found where a guy's uh, building a model ship. So that's what I've been watching out there, and I figure. I might as well start the video here for Friday because it's actually Thursday evening right now or afternoon I should say. Look at that nice yard is all nice and empty. I love it. And I'm sure I probably said something like the next thing I'm gonna do is staging or something. Well, you know how it goes. <laughs> I should probably st stop saying that because basically the next thing I do is whatever the heck I decide uh, to start doing. So at the moment, I'm going to glue down some uh, some track over crossings. All right, right there is good. Let's give it a little stretch here, make sure we got our cars. Yep. All right, we're off. So while we run out and around the layout here, let me kind of show you what we're going to be doing all the way back here. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, controller down here. Hopefully I don't drop it. But uh, yeah, I want to get my drywall uh, spackle and get my roadways in before I go ahead and ballast. But this is probably the worst ex one right here. And you can see that that is an, an industrial spur right there that kind of gets cut off and isn't used anymore, at least off to the left over here. We will have an industry over here. But in the road crossing, let me get a good shot of that. You can see that uh, it just kind of pops up because uh, it's just not very straight. And that's okay because, like I said, that's a reused piece of track. But I. I got to kind of get that flat. So what I'm going to do is I've pre-positioned a couple of bricks underneath here. We're going to come down here. We'll uh, put some glue on here, put the bricks on there, and let that kind of set up. So this one's not too bad, but uh, it's still got a little bit of spring here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one also. And then I got two other spots, I think, right over here. It's a little bit of flex right there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that one down. And then actually on our runaround right here, you can see there's a, there's a little bit of play here and that's mainly because um, I had to do the wiring right over here. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue here, get that kind of tacked down a little bit. Uh, the rest of the location here looking good. That's nice and solid. This one's, there's a little bit of dip here cause where you can see there's a seam where I've got two of the uh, foam boards. And so that's fine. I'm going to leave that. It's nice and solid over here and it's solid over there. So there's a little dip underneath here. That's fine. I'm going to, I'm not going to force that down because then that'll cause other trouble. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab our controller. Find our train. He's uh, way out there in the, in the layout. There we go. Running through some scenery. Actually notch it up here a little bit. 
Now, obviously I'm not uh, hauling bricks or glue or anything like that in uh, my maintenance away here, but hey, you know, I kind of like to have a little bit of fun. Uh, you can see that uh, inside of the, uh, the actual gondola though, I do have nails and uh, a couple of couple of ties, things like that. So uh, after we actually ballast, I come back and I actually pull the nails out. And so we kind of run our train. I'm going to notch it up over here and hopefully we get through our turnouts right there. <laughs> All right, let's get around to the other side. But anyway, I do run the train, kind of have a little bit of fun. Make believe like uh, we're going to be out here working on our uh, on our railroad. So you got to get out there with the maintenance away train here. But anyway, like I was saying, a little bit slow going here. I was hoping to get a little bit farther by now, but you know how it is. Summertime, I get distracted and all that other stuff. So we'll run the train all the way down to the end here, and then uh, we'll get started with uh, laying, uh, well, laying brickwork. And one of the other things I was uh, watching, I was watching Boomer building his, uh, his uh, little, uh, what is it, uh, slumlord kind of building. He did that video. Uh, couple days ago I think or something like that and uh, kind of got me a little bit motivated here uh, I really want to get started on this building here currently represented by the glad trash bags but uh, it's this blue building that you see right there so this crossing and where that palm tree is is going to be that crossing right there so uh, that building is really interesting. It's blue, it's kind of funky. There's a, there's a staircase going up in there. There's some brickwork. There's like all sorts of goofy looking stuff right there. And uh, so I'm, I think I'm gonna start, at least I'm motivated at the moment to get over there and uh, start working on that building right there. So I've already collected up a few uh, scrap pieces to get the uh, basic shape down. And then, uh, um, like I said before, when I started building this, I'm gonna try to kind of step it up a little bit with my, um, my buildings and stuff like that, instead of just doing kind of stand-ins, which is, well, all of the buildings on my layout are basically stand-ins for, you know, uh, trying to get, uh, better buildings right and of course our train stopped right here so it's a good good place to stop i think i probably have a dead spot here oh, there we go doing something i think probably got a, a loose connector down at the bottom but that's okay because we we're going to stop right here anyway because we're going to work on these two little sections of track right there and if I could find my glue, I think I got enough in here. I'm going to just use regular old white glue here. And uh, I don't want to pause the video, but I got to get, I think I got to get some more glue. No, I'm good. All right. <clears throat> I have a brick ready. Because, yeah, we're going to glue down both of these right here. So, pretty simple process. I mean, I'm just going to stick glue in between the ties here. And, again, this doesn't have to be pretty because the whole point is there's going to be a street right here. So, I'm just going to dump a bunch of glue right there in between the ties. And then we'll put a brick down and just let that all settle in. Yeah, see, blup. Okay, it's already sticking. So, brick. There we go. Good enough right there. Let me get the other one. Get that over right, uh, right there. Perfect. So that should be ready to go. And then actually, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can fix this uh, 
a little section of dead track for some reason. Yeah, I got my controller going, but nothing's happening. So I'm guessing it's one of the suitcase connectors down below. Because, yeah, there's a connection right there and another one right there that powers it. So let's take a look down here. This is pretty, pretty tight. I'm just going to kind of wiggle these around and see what happens. So it actually powers, I know it's really dark in there. <laughs> I might just cut that part out, but let's see if, uh, no, nope, still not getting anything. I'm going to pause the video and wiggle my wires there a little bit. All right, I think it was the suitcase connector down below because what I did was uh, grab my little LED tester right here and I went to the track behind it and let me see if you can see that but uh, come on. there we go as you can see it goes off there and now it should be going off right there there we go so I think it was just the suitcase connector underneath that was a little wacky let's see if this works there we go We'll get the train fired up again, and uh, head back to the next uh, section that we're going to be doing. And uh, I'll see if I uh, I did. Oh, there we go again. Now we're dead. I think that suitcase connector is going to give me some trouble there. Ooh, I'm like wiggling the wiggling the track over there. It's kind of hard to see, but I think I'm just checking my soldering job over here. So that's all right. That's all right. All right. Well, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna push through it over here. Oh, actually, you know what? I wonder if I accidentally killed the power. That's kind of odd. Let's see. No, no, it's definitely, uh, definitely losing power here in this one little section right there. So, yeah, see, we kind of get into the other section right here and we pick up our power again. Anyway, I'll have to get underneath there and uh, play around with that connector. I might just have to replace it because there's actually like three tracks that uh, go into the one connector. So, <laughs> and I was gonna say before the train died again right there, um, I don't know, I, I put the camera underneath there so I don't know if I'm gonna leave that in, it, it was pretty dark. But basically just wiggling around the wires in my suitcase connector. Just to make sure it's got a good connection, giving it a little extra squeeze. I might just grab a pair of pliers. Like I said, I got uh, three tracks that are going into one suitcase connector. And it's, uh, it's these two guys right here. And actually, I think those two right there that, that uh, get connected up. And I think I did that because I... Let me go ahead and silence this guy a little bit. I think I did that because uh, they had a... Uh, I was running low on suitcase connectors at the time. All right. Let's see, where else are we going to be doing this? Oh, yeah, you know what? I think we went a little bit too far. We're going to be doing it over here. You know, this is a wacky video here. We'll see. Uh, where's my glue? Yeah, we're going to glue this thing right there. So, just a little bit. I'll make sure we get some glue down in between the ties right here. And again, I'm only doing it right where the roadway is going to be because I don't want to. I don't don't want to get a bunch of messy glue out in uh, you know where I'm going to be doing ballasting or whatever. All right, hopefully that's enough. There we go. Just a little bit right there. And, whew, the bug. I got my handy dandy brick. I'm just going to put that in there. Make sure it kind of gives it a nice 
Yeah, that's perfect. And then our other spot was our runaround right over here. So let me go ahead and get a little bit of glue on there. Yep, I don't want to go too far. Again, I just want to be where this street is. Oops, making a mess here. The street kind of comes across and uh, does a little curve through here. So let me go ahead and grab my other brick down here. And I'm going to lay it in right, right on there just to make sure it's... There we go. All right. I think that'll be good right there. All right, guys. Whew. Well, a goofy looking video, huh? But hey, that's model railroading for you. I know I'm jumping all around with the camera, so I have to excuse that. All right, we'll shove back on out of here. And I think we're actually going to stop right here because, uh, well, we're going to be doing more work here once we, uh, Once we uh, get that glue to dry tomorrow, maybe there'll be uh, maybe I'll add in a little bit to this video and show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna shut down right here, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, here we are. It's the next day. Go figure. And let's take a look and see what the track looks like. Now I gotta admit I cheated a little bit. I just looked before I uh, hit. Uh, hit the uh, record on the camera so you can see that glue is still a little bit wet so uh, these bricks kind of sitting on top of it they're pretty damp I guess they uh, you know I just it's just regular old bricks that I had sitting on the side of the house and uh, I think they're just kind of keeping it from completely fully drying though um, it seems to be tacked down let's take a look at this one here and you can see it's still wet, but um, around the edges and stuff like that here, it's it's actually pretty much tacked down. So I think I can take the brick off now and uh, it should be okay. Let's take a look at this one. This one here was the one that was like the worst. It was the one back there. And you can see I put a lot of glue down there. And, uh, but you see, it's it's pretty hard down here on the corner so it's kind of holding onto it and uh, down through here is some more glue so i think what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to i'm just going to leave like a little bit here i'm going to leave that exposed same thing on there and let the rest of it dry right there and uh then we can get it to spackle out start spackling our street and doing all that good stuff so anyway Maintenance away trains all the way over here is just hanging out, waiting for us to get something uh, something for us to do here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's kind of a little bit different one here, but uh, yeah, it's kind of layout update. That's the stuff that we got to do here to get everything going. Till next time, guys. Take care.